Call the meeting of the City Council to order for Monday evening, January 14th, 2019. Stand as we salute our American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, members of the Council, Mr. Clerk. Pleased to see everybody here this evening. As we start off this evening, as you know, we elect our new city council president for the year 2019. So without any delay, nomination for council president for 20 year, for the year 2019. Uh, nominations are now open for the president See um, at this time. Councilor Sullivan. President, I'd like to nominate Councilor Elijah Moises Rodriguez. Second. 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 Motion's been made and, and seconded that we're going to um, Nominate uh, Councillor Rodriguez. Any other nominations? Nomination. Motion has been made and second that we're going to close the nominations. At this particular time, City Council at Large, uh, Moises Rodriguez has been uh, nominated to be our next uh, president. Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? Exactly. Councillor at Large, Moses Rodriguez. Councillor at Large, Moses Rodriguez. Please. Moses Rodriguez. Moses Rodriguez. Uh, Dennis and I mean Council Rodriguez. Farwell. Councillor Moses Rodriguez. Lally. Councillor Moses Rodriguez. Monaghan. Moses Rodriguez. Nicastro. Councillor Moses Rodriguez. Rodriguez. I guess Councillor Moses Rodriguez. <laughs> Sullivan. Councillor Lodge Moses Rodriguez. Um, Eleven in the affirmative for Councillor Moses Rodriguez. And at this time we can elect it. Prevail. Motion was made and seconded for reconsideration. Hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration? <laughs> ah, all opposed? Reconsideration fails. Council, uh, City Council President Rodriguez, if you'd come forward, please. I would like to present you with, this is the temporary gavel. Oh, is it? The big ham is still up in the council chambers. Okay. But I want to present you with this. You're going to use the gavel when you get this block to use. And, you know, as, as a, a city clerk at one time used to say, the former late J.J. Lyons used to always say, use it often, use it wisely. You are in charge. So at this point in time, that's your gavel to hand, handle, and I'm sure you'll do a fine, outstanding job. Look forward to working with you in that, in that position. Okay? And I, wisdom? Mr. Any President, words of wisdom at this point. Well, I'm actually going to do this first, and then I'm going to tell you a couple of things. Okay, and then you let me have a couple. Of, Absolutely. Yeah, and I'll sit um, down, and it's all you. Absolutely. Yeah. Too many. I, on behalf of the uh, our colleagues in the City Council, would like to make this official presentation to you. It's another one of the gavels to be added to your collection. I know you've had you have Thank several you. of these. That's why you you've got one on Thanks loan for us. Yeah. And we appreciate everything that you've done. I mean, we had a real tough uh, uh, season in the sense, jumping from one side to another, but finally we found our way. And hopefully we will soon be in the chambers where we belong and we will uh, continue to do the work of the people That's in right. the city. Because uh, one of the things that we need to keep in mind is that we were put in here to do the will of the people. Uh, we got to forget about our, our personal biases and the way we see things and do what's best for the citizens of this city. So That's congratulations, great. sir. Thank you, sir. And I, look you. That. I, appreciate, I appreciate that very much. But believe it or not, it does add, mm -hmm. add to my collection. And there are a few that say vice chair of the school committee as well. I was on there for school 20 committee. years. So. <laughs> I, was, I was also the vice president of the school committee a couple of times as well. Am I right there, Mr. Yeah. Mayor? That's yeah. when you were mayor, too. Exactly. But I appreciate this, and, and uh, I, I don't really have much to, much to say in the way of, uh, you know, words of wisdom other than, you know, I, I do want to say thank you. And, and as always, I've, I've always treasured the, uh, the moments of being City Council President. Um, and even as Council President Rodriguez has mentioned, it's, it's been a challenging year, and, and I think this year is going to be another challenging year as well. But I think we can all do it, and we can all do it working together. Um, you know, I, I at this point don't foresee any complaints, and I don't have any requests, and I don't have any regrets. But um, I do want to say that, as we've always said, and Council Brophy always said, that 
Once a president, always a president. So with that being said, um, I appreciate uh, this, and uh, I wish you, wish you the best of luck. I wish uh, the council the best of luck, too, and, and God bless. We'll all work together. Thank no you. doubt. Thank you. Mr. Clark, shall we continue with the agenda? We shall. The acceptance of the minutes of December 27, 2018, City Council meeting. That will be accepted and placed on file. We have an appointment. The communication from the Executive Director of Brockton Housing Authority to the Mayor informing him that the Resident Commissioner, Sandra Proctor, wishes to resign and also suggesting Carol Roberts as a candidate, understanding that it is the appointment of the mayor. That too will be accepted and placed on the We have a communication from the mayor submitting a letter from the executive director of the Brockton Housing Authority stating the resignation of resident commissioner Sandra Proctor from the BHA Board of Commissioners and the re recommendation of Carol Roberts to replace her. That too will be accepted and placed on file. We have the communication of Carol Roberts of 755 Crescent Street, Brockton, Mass, to the Brockton Housing Authority Board of Commissioners for a five-year term. Now we refer to the Committee on Finance. We have the rear. I'd like to make a motion to take numbers 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 collectively Second. and also act on the suspension of <coughs> tonight on these. Uh, motion has been properly made and properly seconded. We take 5 through 10 collectively and act upon it tonight. All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? <coughs> So be it. Mr. Clerk. We have the appointment of Carol Roberts, 755 Crescent Street, Brockton. Oh, strike that. Reappointment of Spencer Benoit as a special police officer, City of Brockton, for the one year term ending January 2020. The appointment of Daniel J. Vaughn, special police officer, City of Brockton, for one year term ending January 2020. Reappointment of Janet Frizzell Hancock as a special police officer, of City of Brockton, for one year term ending January 2020. The reappointment of Jason Mosley as a special police officer, of the City of Brockton, for one year term ending January 2020. <coughs> The reappointment of Julie Marshall as a special police officer, City of Brockton, for one year term ending January 2020. Reappointment of Kevin A. Smith as special police officer, City of Brockton, for one year term ending January 2020. All right, Madam Clerk, uh, please call the roll. Call the roll. Azak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. <coughs> Cruz? Yes. Darren Onford? Yes. Aneri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. McCaskill? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Eleven and a permanent. I suppose I make a motion for reconsideration in hopes that it does not prevail. Um, okay. Motion has probably been properly made for reconciliation in hopes that it does not prevail. All those in favor of reconciliation? All those opposed? Carries. And they've been reappointed. We have the hearing. The petition of National Grid and Mass Electric to install three new poles P one and a half, P sixteen and one half, and P eight, and reroute overhead electric wires in order to remove the electric wires between pole six dash one and pole seven due to it being too close to the building. Customer installed scaffolding next to the building, number eighty eight North Main Street. The time has arrived and I declare that hearing open. Is there anybody in favor of this petition? If there's anyone in favor, please step forward and give your name uh, to the clerk. Basically doing, as the board said, we are trying to relocate these primary wires that are currently in front of the buildings and rerouting them to both ends. So there will be, uh, won't be much of an interruption of service. It's basically getting the wires away from the building. Apparently there is scaffolding. They probably do some constructions over there. Thank you. Is there anyone else in favor? Hearing none, that portion is closed. Is there anybody in opposition? Anyone in opposition? 
Well, I'll close that one too. Um, Granty will be at the end of the meeting. Oh, uh, we'll, um, we'll act on this at the end of the meeting. We have the petition of George Brewster of 25 Main Street, Weymouth, Dubier Brewster Ambulance Service for a transfer of garage license located at 1531 Main Street in clerk's office October 22, 2018, hearing assigned for January 14, 2019 at 7 p.m. Fire Department has no objections. Time having arrived, I declare this portion of the hearing open. Is anybody here in, in favor? Please give your name to, your, to the clerk. Yes, please. I'm James Baby, representing the Brewster family. Do you have uh, a statement for us? Um, well, I was asked to come here regarding the permit for the building we're currently in and has been in for over a year now. Uh, I guess the permit that was prior did not transfer over, so we had to go through the paperwork process. So they asked me to come today. Go ahead, ma'am. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'm Susan McCastro, Ward 4, City Councilor. Um, this property is located in Ward 4, and Jim and I have just had a conversation about this. Um, th there's a plot plan that's supposed to be attached to the application that is not here. So at this time, I would like to um, make a motion to refer this to uh, public safety. Second. You gotta do okay. the, you gotta do the close that part of the people in favor okay. carry and the open the doors against. Okay. So you have to listen to those. That will give us an opportunity to vet it out some more, get the plot plan and complete the application. Yeah, but Councilor, I think we have to go through the whole process of the public hearing and then at the end you can make that motion. Okay, then All I'll right. withdraw the motion at this time. Thank you. All right. Anyone else? Uh, is anybody else uh, in favor of this petitioner? Hearing none, I close that part of the hearing. Is anybody here in opposition to this uh, petition? In opposition? Council? No one? I close that. No, Councilor, you can make the, uh, the motion if you wish. Thank you. As I was saying, I'd like to make a motion to refer this matter to public safety. Um, just to address a few things with the application. Second. The motion has been properly made uh, and properly second. All those in favor of sending this to public safety? Anybody opposed? Public safety, it goes. And we will uh, get in touch with you and let you know exactly when that uh, process, process is going to take place. It's going to be up for the next one. Huh? It's going to be up for the next one, too. All right, next item. Petition of George Brewster, 25 Main Street, Weymouth, DBA. Brewster Ambulance Service for transfer of garage license located at 225 North Montello Street in clerk's office October 22nd, 2018. Hearing assigned for January 14th, 2019 at 7 p.m. I declare this portion of the hearing open. Uh, please state your name and uh, to the clerk. James Bibby, Phil Supervisor for Brewster Ambulance. Okay. Uh, this is another property that was permitted prior to us buying the property, the Brewster family. And uh, again, the, it did not transfer over, so we requested to go through the application process. Is there anyone here in favor of this petition? Hearing none, I'll close that one. Uh, is anybody in opposition to this petition? Anybody in opposition? Questions on granting. Do you, would you like to make a, well, a motion? Well, it's, it's like Ward 5, and it just seems that, he's, that, that someone will be representing um, Booster Ambulance, the public safety for 1531. So it seems at that point that we should send 225 motion. also. So I'd like to make a motion to do second. Second. A second. A motion has been properly made and properly second. All those in favor of sending it to public safety? All those opposed? To public safety, it shall go. Petition of Daniel Gill, Jr. of 531 Summer Street, East Bridgewater, Mass. For a garage license located at 12 Riverside Avenue, Rockton, in City Clerk's Office, October 12, 2018. Hearing is signed for December 27, 2018, 7 p.m. Councilman Castro, motion to postpone the next City Council meeting. Properly seconded. The motion carried by a hand vote. Hearing is signed for January 14, 2019, at 7 p.m. The time. Well, let's go through the. We, Do we, we want to make a motion to take them collectively, okay. 14 and 15. Um, I think because of the public hearing, I think we got to do them individually, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
The time has arrived that we open this uh, public hearing. All those, uh, is anybody here in favor of this petition? No one in favor? Uh, you can't? Oh, they can't hear Tony. Okay, we'll just move Tony's. Oh, okay. Uh, I think we're going to share a microphone. Uh, sure, okay. I know. To the buddy system. Yeah. Okay. Is anybody here in favor of this petition? The petition for the uh, granting of the garage license at 12 Riverside Ave. To Daniel Gill. Um, Mr. Chairman, I, I don't think Mr. Gill was able to be here this evening. Okay. Okay. I, I think he understood that um, deficiencies in the application were going to result in it being uh, referred to public safety or a, a motion to refer to public safe, safety to enable them to be addressed and, and the application to be completed. So when it comes back here, we can go forward. Okay. So let me uh, at least close that portion out. Uh, is anybody here in opposition to this uh, petition? Hearing none, I'll close that. Now you can go ahead and make your motion. Thank you. Uh, make a motion to refer this matter to the Public Safety Second. Commission. Uh, motion has been properly made and properly seconded. All those in favor of sending it to public safety? Anyone opposed? To public safety, yes, shall go. Okay. Petition of LML Auto Repair, Armando Mendez of 17 Myrtle Street, Myrtle Avenue, strike that, Brockton, Braintree, Mass. is a motor vehicle repair body license located at 12 Riverside Avenue and clerk's office October 12, 2018. Hearing is signed for December 27, 2018. 7 p.m. Council of Castro motion to postpone the next city council meeting properly seconded the motion carried by a hand vote hearing assigned for January 14 2019 all paperwork on file fire department has objections as it does not conform to standards outlined by Mass General Law CMR ROCLB currently there is no proper equipment to allow for painting priming and bonding on the premises Pending the installation of the proper equipment to allow for painting, priming, and bonding, the approval of the equipment and installation by the fire department. The fire department would then have no objections. The time has arrived. I declare this portion of the hearing open. Is anyone here in favor of this petition? In favor of this petition? Is anyone in opposition to this petition? Here we none. I'm going to close that one as well. Um, Mr. Chairman, um, yes, Armando Mendez and I are in regular contact. He is, all, his application is nearly complete. However, there are a few things missing, and so um, he he was aware that I was going to make a motion to refer this to the Public Sorry. Safety Commission. The motion has been properly made and properly second. All those in favor of sending it to Public Safety? Anyone in the opposition? Public safety is shall go. So be it. <clears throat> we have the report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of January 7th, 2019. That will be accepted and placed on. Five. We have a communication from the Chief of Police Department requesting the authorization to expend grant monies related to the fiscal 2019 Municipal Police Service Staffing Grant from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security in the amount of $175,200. That too will be accepted and placed we on. We have five. a communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the chief of the fire department requesting that the city council authorizes the acceptance of expenditures in the amount of $125,000 from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Executive Office of Public Safety and Security. The intended use of this grant funds will be for overtime necessary to maintain staffing levels. 
That will be accepted in place on time. We have a communication from the mayor recommending the same. And accepted in place on time. We have a communication from the CFO relative to the same. That too will be accepted in place on time. We have a communication from the chief of police department requested that the city council authorizes to expend grant monies any amount of $544,527.37 from the executive office of public safety and security, fiscal 19, Senator Charles E. Shannon, Junior Community Safety Initiative Grant, the City of Brockton Police Department, Fiscal 19, Senator Charles E. Shannon, Jr., Community Safety Initiative Grant Fund. And that will be accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. And that too will be accepted and placed on Communication from the CFO relative to the same. And that too will be accepted and placed on We have a communication from the chief of the fire department requested that the city council authorizes the acceptance and expenditures in the amount of $13,586 from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Department of Fire Services, Fiscal 2019 Student Awareness of Fire Education Grant, $10,386. The City of Brockton Fire Department, Fiscal 29 Student Awareness of Fire Education Grant Fund, and $3,200 for the City of Brockton Fire Department, Fiscal 2019 Senior Safe Grant mm -hmm. Fund. These grant funds will be used for fire safety education program. And that will be accepted and placed on fire. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. And that too will be accepted and placed on fire. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. And that too will be accepted and placed on fire. We have a fire. communication from the library director requested that the city council authorize the acceptance and expenditures of total grant funds in the amount of $9,253 from the Massachusetts Service Alliance to Brockton Public Library. These grant funds will be used to create a scalable training program for teen volunteers to work in the library's maker space. That will be accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. That will be accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Be accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the director of veteran services requesting that the city council authorize a transfer in the amount of $3,000 from the veteran service purchases of services to veteran services personal services other than overtime. The transfer will be used to hire a temporary secretary to cover the veteran services office office until the office secretary returns from maternity leave. That will be accepted and placed on Communication file. Communication from, uh, from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative for the same. That too will be accepted and placed on file. Okay. Under unfinished business, we have the appointment of Jane Parker, 46 Lydia Avenue, Brockton, to the election commission for a term of four years. In council, December 27, 2018. Reading referred to the standing committee on finance. That report is favorable. Uh, the question is on confirmation by a roll call. Madam Clerk, would you please read the roll? Aza? Yes. Uh, Bolagard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Derenoncourt? Yes. Aneri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. <coughs> Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. The, the appointment is confirmed. The appointment of Eugene Marrow of 128 Healy Terrace, Brockton, is an alternate to the Brockton License Commission for a term of three years. In Council, December 27, 2018, Reading Referred and Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. The question is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Will Madam Clerk please call the roll? Azak? Yes. Bolagard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Yes. Aneri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The appointment is confirmed. We have a transfer in the amount of $131,900 from ambulance receipts to fire department purchase of service room. In council, December 27, 2018. Read and referred to the standing committee on finance. That report was favorable. The question is on, on adoption by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Aza? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Bruce? Yes. Darren Yes. Aneri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Castro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. 
Sullivan. Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is about to. A transfer of $40,000 from the Fire Department Purchase of Services to Fire Department Overtime. End Council, December 27, 2018. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call. Madam Clerk, would you please uh, call the roll? Azak? Yes. Baragar? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darren Encourt? Yes. Amiri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. The order is adopted. An appropriation of the total grant funds in the amount of $1,750 from the Mass Emergency Management Agency to City of Brockton Emergency Management Agency, Fiscal 1819 Hazardous Materials Emergency Preparedness Grant Fund, and Council, December 27, 2018. Ready to refer the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption. Uh, Madam Clerk, would you please read the, uh, the call, call the roll? Yes. Azak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darren Onport? Yes. Aneri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. An appropriation of total grant funds in the amount of $20,460 for Mass Emergency Management Agency, the City of Proctor Emergency Management Agency, Fiscal 18 Emergency Management Planning Grant Fund. There is a match required in the amount of $19,536.50 from Stabilization Fund $19,536.50 to Emergency Management Fiscal 18 Planning Grant Fund. End Council, December 27, 2018. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adopt uh, adoption by roll call. Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? Aza? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darren Oncourt? Yes. Aneri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. An appropriation of total grants in the amount of $52,000 from the Mass Environmental Protection Sustainable Materials Recovery Program Municipal Grant to the Department of Public Works Sustainable Material Recovery Program Municipal Municipal Grant Fund and Council, December 27, 2018. Ready for the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Azak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darren Oncourt? Yes. Amiri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. An appropriation of total grant in the amount of $3,360.02 from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security Office of Grants and Research, Highway Safety Division, Fiscal 19 Traffic Enforcement and Equipment Grant Program to the City of Brockton Police Department, Fiscal 19 Traffic Enforcement and Equipment Grant Program Fund, and Council. December 27, 2018. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The adoption, the question is on adoption by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Azak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darren Oncourt? Yes. Aneri? Yes. Sarwa? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? <coughs> yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. An appropriation of the total grant in the amount of $3,497.40 in the form of 18 car seats from Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Fiscal 2019 Child Passenger Safety Equipment Grant, the City of Brockton Police Department, Fiscal 29 Child Passenger Safety Equipment Grant Fund, in Council, December 27, 2018. Reading for the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Can we already do that one? No, it's double. This is for 18. See, the ones before was for traffic enforcement. The question is an, an adoption by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Azak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Bruce? Yes. Darren Oncourt? Yes. Aneri? Yes. Farwa? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. 
Castro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. An appropriation of $75,000 from the Commonwealth of Mass, Department of Conservation and Recreation, the City of Brockton Parks Department, and Council, December 27, 2018, ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Azak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darren Alcourt? Yes. Mary? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. An appropriation in the amount of $150,000 from the Commonwealth of Mass, Department of Conservation and Recreation, the City of Brockton Park Department, and Council, December 27, 2018. Ready to refer the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call. Uh, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Azak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darren Oncourt? Yes. Aneri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. An appropriation of $75,000 from Commonwealth of Mass, Department of Conservation and Recreation, to the City of Brockton Parks Department, and Council December 27, 2018. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Azak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darren Oncourt? Yes. Aneri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Okay, we have the order of Brockton United Ordinance. The purpose of this ordinance is to create unity among residents of Brockton, whether born here or abroad, to welcome newcomers and to engage community members in building trust and solidarity between the different ethnic groups that make up the city of Brockton and the city's government. That order will be, uh, this item will be referred to the Committee on Ordinance. We have an order of rules and regulations governing motor vehicles for hire, Chapter 159A, for the carrying of passengers. Mr. President, uh, uh, items 48 through uh, 52 are just something we do yearly to give the clerk the uh, ability to do some of his job and make a motion. We take them collectively and act, act on them tonight under suspension of the rules. The motion was properly made and properly second. All those in favor of taking them collectively and acting on them under suspension of the rule? Anybody opposed? Okay, sir. Mr. Clerk. Okay. Assessors to act as agents of the City Council in matters of approach of benefits. Clerk to give notice of hearings before the Council. Regulations governing the operation of hawkers and peddlers within the City of Brockton. Pawn brokers are to deliver a list of purchased pawn articles to the chief of police. The question is on adoption by a roll call. Will Madam Clerk please call the roll? Yes. Azak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Ruth? Yes. Darren Oncourt? Yes. Amiri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The orders are adopted. An appropriation of additional grant funds in the amount of $175,200 from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security Fiscal 19 Municipal Police Service Staffing Grant to the City of Brockton Police Department Fiscal 19 Municipal Police Services Staffing Grant Fund. That will be referred to the Committee on Finance. An appropriation of the total grant funds, any amount of $125,000, from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security Office of Grants and Research to the 2019 Mass Municipal Public Safety Staffing Grant to City of Brockton Fire Department 2019 Mass Municipal Public Safety Staffing Grant Fund. That too will be referred to the Committee on Finance. An appropriation of total grant funds of the amount of $544,527.37 from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Fiscal 19, Senator Charles E. Shannon, Jr. Community Safety Initiative Grant, the City of Brockton Police Department, Fiscal 19, Senator Charles E. Shannon, Jr. Community Safety Initiative Grant Fund. 
And that too will be referred to the committee on finance. An appropriation of the total grant funds in the amount of $9,253 for the Mass Services Alliances to Brockton Public Library. There is a $10,405.92 match required. That too will be referred to the committee on finance. We have an appropriation of the total grant funds in the amount of $13,586 for the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security Department of Fire Services Fiscal 2019 Student Awareness of Fire Education Grant $10,386. The City of Brockton Fire Department Fiscal 2019 Student, student Awareness of Fire Education Grant Fund and at $3,200. To the City of Brockton Fire Department Fiscal 29 Se uh, Senior Safe Grant Fund. And that too will be referred to the committee An on appropriation finance. of $3,000 for veteran services, purchase of services, to veteran services, personal services, other than overtime. Mr. President. Thank you. I file this for, at the request of Mr. Farrell. Uh, he couldn't be here tonight, but I would like to take this on the suspension of the rules. It's a minor Thank amount you. of money. It's just to cover a temporary secretary while his secretary is out on maternity leave. So, Thank you. Uh, Motion has been properly made and properly second. All those in favor of taking it uh, collectively and uh, act on, on it tonight? Mm -hmm. All those opposed? Okay. The question is the granting of the national grid and mass electric to install. Oh, oh. oh, I'm one. sorry. So the, the question is on adoption. Um, Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. I'm, I'm, getting, yes. I'm getting the hold of this thing. Yes. Aneri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. McCaskill? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Eleven? The order is adopted. See, you understand I couldn't wait to get to the last item. I see. <laughs> <laughs> the question is granting a national grid and mass electric to install three new poles, reroute overhead electric wires in order to remove electric wires between those poles due to it being too close to the building. Customer installed scaffolding next to the building, number 88 North Main Street. The question is on granting by a hand vote. All those in favor of granting? Anyone opposed? So granted. All the items on the agenda are available in their entirety for review in the city clerk's office for all interested parties. All right, counselors, uh, do we have any other business of the people? Surprise. Go ahead, Council Hoyer. Yes. Okay, a moment of personal privilege here. Well, a couple of things. First of all, congratulations. Second of all, we're glad to see such a good crowd. We want to congratulate, too, all the special police officers to be reappointed. And um, since you asked me to announce this, <laughs> no, uh, it's uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, I'm sorry, holiday, next Monday. And uh, the, uh, how would I say it? Uh, we have a, uh, an annual event that takes place at St. Edith Stein through many volunteers. And it'll be from 2 to 6, which is Monday, January 21st, St. Edith Stein, 71 East Main Street. And we're living the dream with, um, oh, I'm sorry, this event is free. And it's um, encouraged that kids can come. There's a lot of activities and also, uh, you know, an opportunity to learn about uh, Martin Luther King and why we observe the holiday in the first place. And um, we got a nice big fat, um, let's say, information packet here on Comcast and I hope that we can have that uh, next week as uh, part of the discussion to let the citizens of the city, residents of the city know about what's going on with Comcast and the latest contract. So thank you very much. Councillor Lally. Moment of personal privilege. Go for it, sir. Well, uh, two things. I first want to wish my sister Maeve a happy 20th birthday. Um, and uh, on a on a business business end, uh, I want to announce that I'm having a ward meeting uh, Thursday, January 31st, at 6:30 p.m. at the Ashfield Middle School. Uh, a developer is interested in redeveloping a factory on Spark Street. He's looking to put a grow operation in there for uh, recreational marijuana. Typically, this is a meeting I would organize just with the residents of the immediate neighborhood. But this is something I think that the whole ward would want to be a part of. So we're going to have a ward meeting about it 
the developer is going to come in. They're going to make their make their presentation. Uh, so I just wanted to make sure I, you know, I, I said that. All right. Thank That's you, all I got. Thank, Thank you. Councilman Kester. Um, moment of personal privilege, Go just on. to let everyone know, there's going to be the first Ward Four meeting of, of 2019, and it will be held Wednesday, January 30th, from 6:30 until 8 o'clock at the Edgar Davis School on Plain Street in Ward 4. Please join us, everyone. And all of you are welcome to attend as well. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Councillor Azek. Thank you, Mr. President. A moment of personal privilege. So granted. I'd like to um, remind everybody that there's the um, Operation Safe Streets meeting. It's January 23rd. It's a Wednesday from 6.30 to 7.30 right here at the Arno School. And these, um, these meetings have been held for the last, for, for a number of years now. And sometimes they're well attended, sometimes they're not so well attended. But I will tell you, I'm very happy to see when we do get residents out because this gives them a chance to uh, speak directly with our law enforcement. So I hope everybody that has, um, we've, as people have seen, we've had a few uh, issues in Ward 7 as, through, as well as throughout the city. But if uh, people have questions and want to speak to law enforcement, have some concerns, this is the meeting to go to. So it's Operation Safe Streets, Wednesday, January 23rd, 6.30, right here at the Anno. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Council Durant. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. It is truly an honor. Oh, don't start. I mean, to see you there. So I would like to once again congratulate you, you on being, you know, the president of the City Council for 2019. I think it's an amazing group and wish all of you folks a happy 2019. So I'm excited about uh, what ahead of us. And I know that it's going to be an amazing year. So I would really wish each and every single one of you the best this year. And like you said, Let's get together to move this place forward because that's why we're here. So I cannot wait to see what you're going to do. I know you're going to do amazing work. So we are a team, like I told you earlier. So let's get it done. So you thank it, you, man. Mr. President. Thank you. It feels good to call you Mr. President. It does? <laughs> All right, Councilors, anything else? Mr. President, did you make many assignments? Uh, yes, we have. And I think uh, the clerk actually has a, do you have a, you have a copy of those things, right? <laughs> well, but before we go, uh, I just wanted to uh, recognize uh, uh, a ton of people who are here from the community from the uh, Brockton United group. Uh, they came in on their own time to show some support for an agenda item that we have, but at the same time, just to be present. So please stay engaged, please stay involved. And, you know, I've said this several times, this is our city and we can't do anything by ourselves. We need all you folks to kind of help us out. And I hope you do stay in, and continue to be engaged to help us move Brockton forward. And you want me to read the committees? Yeah. Want to read it? Read it. Yeah. Uh, would the clerk, would you please okay. uh, read the committee, committee assign assignments? Committee assignments for 2019, Brockton City Council, Finance Committee, all city councilors, Council President Moses Rodriguez, Chair, Accounts Committee, Winthrop Fowell Jr., Chair, Dennis Iadere, Ann Beauregard, Timothy Cruz, Susan Castro, Beautification Committee, Shirley Azak, Community Schools, Robert Sullivan, Audience Committee, Robert Sullivan, Chair, Timothy Cruz, Winthrop Fowell Jr., Thomas Monahan, Jean Bradley, Durana Court, Public Safety Committee, Dennis Ianeri, Chair, Winthrop Fowell, Jr., Shirley Azak, Thomas Monahan, Jean Bradley, Dorota Court, Real Estate Committee, Susan DeCastro, Chair, Shirley Azak, John Lally, Thomas Monahan, Dennis Ianeri, Traffic Committee, John Lally, and Beauregard. Uh, Councilors, uh, as I said, this is going to be, we're going to have some growing pains as we move forward with this thing. Uh, no one's perfect, so if we, uh, if I don't do something that I should be doing on this particular body, please don't hold it against me. I'm, I'm fairly new at this, but uh, not new to this rodeo. I've been to this rodeo before. So uh, having no further business of the people, I will adjourn the meeting. <laughs>